Let's try Joe again. A first time call out of Oregon. Let's yes. try it again, Joe. Go ahead. Yes, Jesse. How are you? All is well, sir. How are you? I'm 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 well, thank you. Um for first time calling. I appreciate so, that. Um, yeah, um you know, I've been listening to you for a while, so I'm gonna try to be quick. Um well I, I, let me tell you, um I'm I'm married by the way. But um, I've been separated for almost three years now. You've been separated and, for three uh, years? Almost three years. How long have you been so, married? Um, about six some years. Do you have kids with your wife? Yes. And yes. why are you separated? Um, okay, well, is there a reason why, Jesse? Um, I was in the military, so, be, you know, um, we were together. Uh, we got married after I joined the military. So, you know, things were going well, so, uh, you, you know, after. And all of a sudden, and her attitude started to change, you, you know. Um, she started to become disrespectful, and she had an attitude, and, and which I know even before we were dating and stuff. So, you know, I kind of um, overlooked that. And also, I have to say, too, I think I, I was what you consider as a better male. I, beta! I passive. Yeah, and, you, and I was too passive, Jesse. Yeah. So what happened is I was trying to be too nice, like, to please her, to please the relationship. Even, uh, and and now I realize that, and, and, and it's, it's kind of too late. So I left the military because of her, because, you know, military life is already stressful. And then when yes. I go home and you have a wife, all she's doing is talking, you know, trying to find anything that... <laughs> doesn't please her and, and, and so basically I had two stressful lives. So I left and, and you know, I was losing weight, I was unhappy and because of that I have to say, um, you know, I, I started a relationship for, for another girl on this side, not nothing sex uh, sexual. Uh, I just wasn't happy and, and, and you know, I had a woman and she was disrespectful, she had an attitude and I just didn't feel like you know, I had a woman at home. And so I left the military because of that. When I left the military, so I was not ready. I just left because of this circumstance. And, you know, I'm, I was trying to figure out what was going on, what I needed to do. And, you know, and money was going low because now I, don't have, I didn't have an income coming in. And, and, oh, my goodness, now there's no money. And she's always talking about money. There's no money. It's It's... And she loves to travel, and we used to travel a lot. And what I also noticed later, Jesse, is that, you know, she was working too, but what she was doing, um, she was saving money on a secret bank account, which I later found out. I didn't know that at the beginning. So basically, we were using all the money I was making, but her money, she had on separate secret account somewhere. Um, when, when I decided... I, uh, I was accepted for a nursing program because I wanted to become a, a, a physician assistant. So, you know, I just called that from like, listen, you know what, I'm going to go back to school, and, and right now things are not going well. And she was upset. You will think she will support me on that, right? And then she said, um, I was going to pay the bills. Uh, you're going to go to school. Uh, where is the money coming from? I'm like, well, we're going to have to downsize. Do all we can to struggle during that time. And she became angry. And at the time, she gave birth to my son. She moved out of the house. And, and her, by the way, also I have to say, after we got married, her mom moved in the house. And, and she, oh, oh, my goodness, she was like a devil. And, and she was, <laughs> sometimes she would talk to me like, like I was her own son. And, and, you know, even though I was trying to be nice, when I talked to her mom, she gets upset, and then now it's like two against one. So it's always me and her and her mom going at it. So I first she moved out of the house, Jesse, and so I decided not. I was I had just started that nursing program. I dropped out. It was too much for me, and mentally, I was not there. I was I was stressed out. So I dropped out. I told the school I'm not ready. I'm gonna have to drop out because I have a lot of stuff at home. So I got a job in which I'm not making them. So I lost my confidence, you know, disrespected. 
she moved to another state. And then now I have my baby. I can't even see my, my own baby. So I had to travel out of state. And she told me, well, if either I move to follow her. And and sometimes we will argue and, you know, she'll call the cops. And, and you know, I, and I became really angry. And, and, and even at uh, uh, women. You know, and, and, you know, I'm a black person, and, and, you know, she's a black person, too. You're a black? And, Why you sound black. like a Mexican? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were Hispanic. Well, well, I have to say, I, I, I wasn't born here. I was born in Martinique. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, okay, I'm glad you told me. I thought you were Hispanic, because you sound like a Mexican. No, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I speak French, so that's why. Okay. Yeah. So, Jesse, how old are um, you, Joe? I'm 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 33. What part of Oregon do you live in? Uh, Portland. Portland. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So you know, Jesse. Um, so after that, what happened? She moved out and you know dropped out of the program, working minimum wage. And then at one time, she told me um, because. When I was in the military, she was going to school to become a nurse. So, she, so she she she's already a nurse. And then she told me, um, you know, she's making enough money that uh, uh, she doesn't need a man. She can pick up of uh, the baby by herself. Like you know, all this. She's a strong black woman, kind of kind of nonsense stuff. <laughs> and, um, and and sometimes we will argue. She will call the cops on me, and and the cops usually when they come, they always make it feel like I'm guilty, and 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 you know which I hate. And then one time I called the cops because I travel. You know I had to travel. I bought my ticket. I went to see my son, and she took she took my baby and went out with her mom. And even though she knew I was coming, I didn't get to see my son. I called the cops. So the cops felt like I wasted their time. And I was like, so why is it when she calls you guys, you guys always go after me. And then when I call you guys, you, you make it sound like there's nothing to do. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, you know, Jesse, I'm a Christian, and, you know, I'm talking to other people. I, I feel like I want to go the divorce, you know, route with that. You want to go where? Um, I, I feel like I want to divorce her, you know? Oh. and And... I'm afraid of losing my son at the same time. Yeah. You know, especially knowing um, in the country, you know, women, they get their way in divorce court. And one time she even told me that. She said, you know, if I go to court with you, you lose everything, you know. Amazing. I'll have you pay for everything. So is she a foreigner as well? Is she from America or another country? Uh, you know, she, uh, she, she, uh, she's from here. She's from here? Yes. Amazing, and so what's your She's question? Like what's your question for me? So you know, man, Jesse, I I I wanted to hear from you how you think uh, you know a man in, in this you know situation should handle that kind of thing. Well, number one, so, uh, Joe, it's all your fault because you're so weak. Try to be nice. Niceness yeah. is weakness. You don't want to be nice. You want to be right. And so, what That's I recommend true. that you not get a divorce. But I recommend you start doing my silent prayer. You let the anger go for your parents and for yourself and for this woman, and God will guide you in the next thing to do. But you gotta. the problem is you have anger about the way you're being treated and the way you are, and that's why you can't see the right thing to do. you got to stop being angry, and then you start standing up. Drop the anger. But you can't divorce because she hasn't cheated on you so far, right? Uh, well, not that I know of. Right. Um, so you can't divorce just and you and your son needs you to not to be with another woman because eventually he may get the opportunity to be with you and he's not going to want another woman between the two of you. Right. He need his father. So I would work on myself right now if I were you. Don't worry about her. Forget about her. Don't force yourself to see your son. Just take your time and work on you and God will work it out for you. Okay. So just relax and go to school, uh, work, save your money, and don't follow her around the country either. If she move to West Hell, leave her in West Hell. Don't you move there. God will make it possible for you to see your son when it's time to see him. I see. But you need to work on you so you can be strong rather than weak. 
Okay. Um, I, I see what you're saying. And, and, and you know, Jesse, what you're saying, because, you know, I have some of my friends, you know, they go to church, but a lot of them seem to see, like, dealing with women sometimes, they think, oh, you have to be a men of God, you know, treating the woman like a queen. Because I have a friend of mine. Don't like ever I listen to like that. Don't, que- don't treat a woman like a queen. That's a beta male. A woman is just a exactly. woman. She's no different. Yeah, She's a woman, so, man. Do not do that. Those are beta males. Yeah. And, and th- th- that's what I was in, in the past, Jesse. Yeah. Yeah, I was that beta male, you know. And yeah. Think I, I've been being too nice to women, and and women sometimes they take advantage of that. And they, all the time, you know, women will take advantage of a weak beta male. They can't help it because women that, that need strong true. men. Men. So listen, Joe. Do my silent prayer. Are you doing my silent prayer? Um. Do I know what you said? Are you doing it? What now? Do you do my silent prayer dot video? Oh. Um, no. no. I want you to go on my YouTube channel, do my silent prayer dot video. Uh, okay. get, make sure you go to work every day, go to school if you want to, save your money. Forget about her for now, and God will work it out for you. Don't. She's not a queen. Got it. All right? Got it. I, I appreciate it, Jesse. You're welcome. Thanks for all your work. Yeah, stop being nice. You just want to be right. So you got to get right with God. Forgive your father and mother. Forgive this woman. She can't help it. She's mean. And forgive yourself for being weak, and you'll be fine. Okay. But do the silent prayer, all right? And speak up. Yes, sir. I will. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Jesse. All right, buddy. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share. The Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.